Yo, just say, God, I trust you. Because he has your back. He's had your back the whole time. Since, his, uh, since, since birth. Since before birth. Because right, you were... You had to cook in your mama's in your mama's uterus. <laughs> He's had your back. So you gotta trust him. And listen, this is for somebody, like, because it's for me. And God is telling me it's for somebody. So like the speed in which you move, the options are not do nothing or sprint. Because remember, it's a marathon. You gotta be consistent and go. I've run a half marathon before. And even when I used to run 5Ks, sometimes when I would start out, which is only 3.1 miles, right? Only, it's relative. But like, when I would start off too fast, I would always burn out. And my time was always slower than when I just started at a steady pace. And then, you know, picked up speed when it felt comfortable and, and just went with, with um, where my body told me I could go. You gotta go with where your spirit, go the speed in which your spirit tells you to go. The options are not stay still or sprint really fast. Like, you can go a consistent speed and just go. And you have to practice that. I had to learn that. Like, it's not like now or never. Like, because you can, like, you can stop if you need to. But that's not the only option. And it's like, it's not like if you never get, if you don't get it done right now, that means you're never going to get it done. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. So... Remember, like, go at a consistent sp consistent pace. Take your time. Keep going, but take your time. Just take your time. Just take the time that you have, but keep going. Stop if you need to. Um, don't just be stagnant for no reason. <laughs> and it's an art, especially when you're used to doing stuff a certain way. It's an art. So I understand the struggle, but it does get easier the more you practice. Keep going. I love you.